so now i am going to read the question a particle is located at position this okay start from rest acceleration is this then at what time means time t is our requirement position will be this this is question belongs to motion in a plane with constant acceleration so we know that if i write final position and this is initial position vector plus initial velocity vector into acceleration vector into t square so this is the equation final position is equal to initial position plus initial velocity vector into t and acceleration vector with t square so let me place the value final position according to the question is 19 i cap minus 4 j cap and initial position question says particle is located at position so this is your initial position 3i plus 4j for next term so i would repeat this is your initial position and i need initial velocity but question says start from rest so there is no initial velocity plus 1 by 2 and i need acceleration so this is given by the question 2i minus j with t square and time t is our requirement so now i am going to solve so if i arrange i cap and j cap so we'll get if i take 2 as a common 16 i cap minus 8 j cap and on the right hand side we have 2 i cap minus j cap with t square when i take 2 as a lcm so there is a small calculation now if i take once again 8 as a common so we'll see A to the sixteen two i cap and minus j cap only because I am going to take eight as a common, so two i minus j cap into t square. So we'll see two i minus j cap, two i minus j cap will cancel out. So we'll get t square is equal to sixteen. So on solving, t is equal to four second. So this is our answer. So this is basic question. so on behalf of that we can say my option number third will be correct so let's move on question number 27 a particle move under gravity okay such that at any time t the vertical and horizontal position from projection point are given by this and x this respectively then angle of projection with the horizontal is so first i'm going to take the solution of this question by taking two steps so my step number 1 is i am going to take the horizontal displacement like x is equal to u x into t plus half e x into t square and we know if there is no air resistance then there is no acceleration along x axis in motion in a plane okay so x is equal to if i want to replace this ux so we can write u cos theta into t if i consider this is our projection if initial velocity is u making angle theta with the ground okay as i said in the previous questions so u cos theta into t and there is no acceleration so we have this equation x is equal to u cos theta into t but according to the problem you are saying that x is equal to tan root 3 into t so if i place the value of x in place of this so we will write here tan root 3 into t and that is equal to u cos theta into t so t t will cancel out so i have a value u cos theta is equal to tan root 3 so this is my equation number 1 similarly if i go for vertical direction along y axis step 2 so we can write here y is equal to u sin theta into t minus half gt square and you know this equation very well as i discussed in the previous questions okay but according to the problem because this is equation along y axis We are saying that y is equal to 10t minus 5t square. हम लोग यहाँ देख पा रहे हैं 
कि y की जो वैल्यू हमें दी जा रही है वो है टेन टी माइनस फाइव टी स्क्वायर एंड दैट इज इक्वल यू साइन थीटा इन टू टी इफ आई प्लेस द वैल्यू ऑफ g दिस इज टेन सो वी विल राइट हेयर फाइव टी स्क्वायर ओके सो इफ आई टेक फाइव टी एज ए कॉमन इन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो विल है टू माइनस टी and if i take time t as a common from right hand side so u sin theta minus 5t t t will cancel out so when i multiply it mai 5 ko bracket ke andar agar multiply karu to 5 into 2 is 10 minus 5t u sin theta minus 5t aap dekh pa rahe ho minus 5t is there minus 5t is there so they will cancel out so you have u sin theta is equal to 10 so this is my equation number 2 but i need the angle of projection so you can solve equation very easily if i divide equation 2 by 1 2 by 1 on the right hand side u sin theta divided by u cos theta u u will cancel out will get 10 theta but on the right hand side 10 is divided by 10 root 3 so 10 is divided by 10 root 3 10 10 will cancel out we have 1 upon root 3 and you know very well if 10 theta is equal to 1 by root 3 then we can say theta is equal to 30 degree so my option number 2 will be correct so this is the question Now we are going to take question number twenty-eight. Question number twenty-eight: A vector this makes an angle beta with the positive direction of x. Okay. If I take this is our vector a a and this is x-axis. As per the question, angle is beta, right? With positive direction, beta is equal. Two. I need the value of beta. So if I resolve the component of vector a, so we have vector a along with the direction of positive x-axis. That is a cos beta. I am not interested the vertical component of vector b because as per the demand of the question, we need the component of vector a along with the direction of x. So we will write here. A cos beta is equal to x. So what are the requirements? First, I need the magnitude of vector A. So you know the vector A. If I go for the magnitude, so we can solve two square because two is the coefficient of i cap, and similarly three square plus six square four thirty six forty nine because two. Square of two is four plus nine plus thirty six, so we'll get forty nine. So final is seven. This is the magnitude of vector A. And second thing, I need the value of x. If I compare vector A with our position vector, so we can write x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. So if I compare with the position vector, so we'll get x is equal to Two. So I have the value of x is equal to two. Now I am going to place the value. A is seven cos beta and x is equal to two. So if I go only cos beta, so that is two by seven. So that will implies that beta is equal to cos inverse two by seven. Okay, so my option number third will be correct. First, I am going to read the question number twenty-nine. An oblique projected from ground takes time four second to travel from P to Q, while takes two second to travel from S to T. Okay, height h of level S T from P to Q. You know from our study package, if you have this this type of situation. because question says time taken from p to q is if i consider this is t1 
एंड टाइम टेकन बाई द पार्टिकल फ्रॉम एस टू टी यहां पर हम लोग देख रहे हैं कि ये वो टाइम है इसको अगर मैं टी टू से लिखू जहां से हाइट सेम है सो यू नो फ्रॉम योर स्टडी पैकेज वी कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन बाई यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला एच इज इक्वल टू वन बाई एट इन टू जी टी वन स्क्वायर माइनस टी टू स्क्वायर यू कीप इन माइंड दिस फॉर्मूला सो इन दिस फॉर्मूला आई वुड रिपीट टाइम टेकन बाई द प्रोजेक्टाइल फ्रॉम पी टू क्यू इज टी वन एंड टाइम टेकन बाई द प्रोजेक्टाइल फ्रॉम एस टू टी इज टी टू एंड यू हैव टू वेरी केयरफुल ये जो टाइम टी टू है ये सेम हाइट से यहां से प्रोजेक्ट और टी टू पे जा सो दिस इज अवर टाइम टी टू एंड आई हैव द फॉर्मूला वन अपॉन एट जी टी वन स्क्वायर माइनस टी टू स्क्वायर लेट प्लेस द वैल्यू वन अपॉन एट जी इज टेन एंड टी वन एज पर द क्वेश्चन टाइम टेकन बाई द प्रोजेक्टाइल फ्रॉम पी टू क्यू एंड फ्रॉम ग्राउंड टेक्स फोर सेकेंड सो टी वन इज फोर एंड टी टू इज टू So on solving we have 15 meter. So on behalf of that we can say my option number two will be correct. So let's move on question number thirty. Two vectors have sum of their magnitude 36 newton. Okay. If I consider the first vector is a and second vector is b, then according to the problem a plus b is equal to 36. This is my equation number one. So let's continue. Their vector sum has magnitude twenty four unit, okay, and resultant vector is perpendicular to smaller vector. Magnitude of these two vectors are okay. So if I make a diagram, suppose this is vector A and this is vector B. So we'll see. वेक्टर ए इज स्मॉलर एंड वेक्टर बी इज लार्जर एज पर द क्वेश्चन दिस इज द रिजल्टेंट राइट बट अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रॉब्लम एंगल बिटवीन वेक्टर ए एंड रिजल्टेंट इज नाइंटी सो इफ आई यूज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ रिजल्टेंट एंगल टेन एल्फा सो वी कैन राइट वी साइन थीटा एंड ए प्लस बी कॉस थीटा Where theta is the angle between two vectors, you know alpha is ninety as per the question. So if I write one upon ten ninety, मैं इसको इसी प्रॉब्लम क्यों कर रहा हूँ? अगर मैं डायरेक्ट वैल्यू को पुट करूँ, तो alpha का वैल्यू ninety है, तो मुझे इनफाइनाइट मिलेगा. The calculation for your simplicity, I am going to take this problem. So one upon ten ninety is equal to a plus b. cos theta upon b sin theta you know this value one upon infinity and something upon infinity is equal to 0 so we have a relation a is equal to minus b cos theta and this is very important for you now if i take the formula of resultant r square A square plus B square plus two AB cos theta. So now I am going to replace the value of magnitude of vector A by using the equation number two. So we will write B square cos square theta plus B square, and I am going to replace A once again. So two. Minus b cos theta into b cos theta. So we'll see if I multiply by two. So you will get minus two minus two b square cos square theta. And one b square cos theta is there. So when you will solve, we'll get we'll get r square is equal to. b square minus b square cos square theta so if i go for equation number 2 we'll see my b cos theta is equal to a minus b cos theta is equal to a so we can replace this value by the magnitude of vector a 
So b square minus a square is equal to r square. Now, I am going to take the values. Question says their vector sum has magnitude 24. Look at. So we can place the value of resultant 24 square. So this is my equation number 3. And you know I have a plus b is equal to 36 and b square minus a square is equal to 24 square. This is your equation number 3. So we can write this v plus a b minus a that is equal to 24 square. So if I place the value of b plus a from equation number 1 because we have the value of a plus b and that is 36. 36 into b minus a is equal to 24 square. So b minus a is equal to 24 into 24 divided by 36. So when you will solve this, we will get 16. b minus a is equal to 16 if I represent this equation number 4. So we have two very important equations a plus b is equal to 36 and b minus a is equal to 16. So if I add them a plus b is equal to 36 and this is your equation number 1. So you will solve these two equations because this is very easy equation b minus a is equation number 4 and a plus b is equal to 36 equation number 1 when you add them then we'll see a a will cancel out so on solving we'll get I am going to write here the final answer. On solving, we will get the value of vector b is 26 and the value of vector a is 10. So on behalf of that, my option number third will be correct.